Alright, we got a Striker SR A10 magnetic mount antenna. It's weather channel ready and it's rated for 10,000 watts. I don't know if I'd run 10 grand through it, but um, I'd say you could probably get by with, you know, two or 3,000 watts in it through it. At most, probably five. But uh, I'm going to get this thing mounted and uh, show you guys how to uh, set the SWRs on it. And we're going to use a uh, Nano VNA to, uh, to set it. Let's open it up and see what we got. The best way to open it is from the bottom. Let's go ahead and cut that little bit right there. Open her up. It's got really good coax. That's a, that's RG8 coax to where like a Wilson 1000 is like mini aid. It's real small. Wilson 1000 is a good antenna. That's what I have on my truck now. But I wanted to try this one out. <clears throat> Dropping everything. A little manual. This is your cap. If you go through a car wash or something, you can unscrew um, the load off of it. And then the cap will screw on there. That way you don't get water down in it. This washer that's on the bottom, that's just for packaging. I'm trying not to rip the box. There we go. But that washer is just to keep it attached to the cardboard. And then this is your whip. Take this rubber cap off the top. little Allen wrench that comes with it. You got two little set screws right here. And this load is loose so you'll have to tighten it. My desk it goes up in there. Just like that. And then that cap I was telling you about it screws on there. I think it's got blue LED lights in these holes that light up and the more power you run through it the brighter they are but get your whip in there and loosen these set screws here Take your stinger and set it down in there and bottom it out. Put it all the way to the bottom. This uh this stinger is this uh whip is um, 63 and a quarter inches long. And you may have to trim it, but we'll see once we get it on the on the truck. We'll see what we got to do to it. And there has been instances where I've installed antennas. Not this particular antenna, but other antennas, even the Wilson 1000, um, to where this needed to be longer. And I don't know if Stryker offers it, but Wilson offers a, it comes with a 62 inch whip, 62 and a half, and they offer a 66 inch for instances where that happens to where it needs to be longer it's very rare but I have run into it um, if they don't offer a 66 for this I'm about betting that uh, 66 from a Wilson 1000 would fit in here if you end if you run into that to where you, your SWR is um, higher on one and lower on 40 
that would mean this needs to be longer. You've got a little bit of adjustment to raise that up. Because remember we put it in there, we bottomed it out. But sometimes you raise it up as far as you can get it just to where the set screws are barely grabbing it. And it's still not enough. And you need to a longer whip. So Wilson 1000, if you look up a whip for a Wilson 1000, they'll have an extended one that's 66 inches. And uh, I'll try to leave links to uh, all that in the description along with this antenna. I'll leave links for the Nano VNA if you need one of those. But um, I like using the Nano VNA because I can see the whole band at one time. I don't have to um, go to channel one, set, calibrate, SWR, and then go to channel 40, set, calibrate, SWR. That Nano BNA, you can see the whole band on the screen. And uh, that makes it a whole lot easier to, to tune one of these. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to channel one, channel 40, blah, blah, blah. It's all on the screen. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. I'm gonna get this thing mounted. I'm not gonna show you the install of it because every vehicle is going to be different. I'm putting it in a 2010 Tundra. But um, let's get this thing mounted. I'll get the cable routed. And then we'll hook the VNA up to it. And uh, let's get this thing tuned. Right there's the Wilson 1000. And I may do a comparison video between... The Wilson 1000 and the Striker SR A10. So hit that subscribe button so you can see that video if you'd like to see that. But uh, I'm gonna get this uh, SR A10 on. There she is. All right, before I connect this to the Nano VNA, I'm gonna show you this little feature. You screw this off downward, and then you can unscrew this piece, and then this allows you a smaller fitting to get through your vehicle, so you don't have to drill a huge hole this size through your vehicle. And then once you get it routed where you want it, you slide this back on with the threads facing up and then screw this back on. Snug it up good and pull this up and screw this back up until it does that. And now we're ready to connect it to the Nano VNA. All right, I've got it routed and I've got it connected to the Nano VNA. So what I was talking about, if you look right here, 26.964999. That's pretty close to 26.965, which is channel one. And then channel 40 is 27.405. And this is 27.404999. That's close enough. I mean, you're like 0 .00001 from being right on it. But you see this line that goes all the way across this yellow line. This would be a 1.0 SWR. That'd be a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blah, blah, blah on up. So right now... You see my little green and yellow tab? I'm on channel 1, which it shows you that here. 26.964999. My SWR on channel 1 is a 1.09. Now on the side of it, you use these arrows to move the channel. 
so if I hold the up it will move it to the other side which is channel 40 I'm at a 1.60 so I'm 1.08 1.09 on 1 and 1 1.6 on channel 40 that means my antenna needs to be shorter so we're gonna have to cut some of the stinger off the best way to cut that off is with a angle grinder so you don't want to take much off of it especially when it's that close I would start with maybe a quarter of an inch and grind Grind a quarter of an inch of it all. And then perfect. Alright, we'll reinstall it back in there. way down and then tighten your sit screw up you can just snug them for now all right let's check the vna all right channel 40 is still 1.52 channel 1 probably dropped on down 1.04 so we need to take a little bit more off of it we'll go with another eight a quarter of an inch Just beveling that edge, making like a you know a bevel on it so it's not got burrs on it. Put it back in, push it all the way down, tighten your set screws up again. Just snug them up. Back to the nano VNA. All right, channel one, that's where my little cursor is, 1.05. And then the little arrow up, bring it all the way over. It looks like every quarter inch, we're dropping about 0.1 in SWR. So I'm gonna take a half inch off of it this time. in push it all the way down tighten the set screws back to the nano vna all right channel 40 right here we're now at a 1.3 Let's go back to channel one. And we are at a 1.16. We're getting close. So now I wouldn't take more than about an eighth inch of it or a quarter inch at a time until you get it. You should be able to get it to where channel one and channel 40 are as even as possible. So if we get this to 1.2, this should be 1.2. As close as you can. If it's 1.2 and 1.25 or 1.3 or whatever, that's close enough. 
it will work great just like that very very little off of it you to look at is we're on channel 40 let me get this where you can see it better channel 40 it's 1.23 now on channel 1 it's 1.2 that is perfectly good just leave it right there if you want to make it better it won't do anything but <clears throat> you can if you want it just needs to be a touch shorter but i'm just going to leave it right there because we're at a 1.2 and a 1.23 and in the middle of the band which would be 27 205 there's 206 we're at 1.07 06 you're not going to get any better than that Let's see what it shows on the uh, Stratter 955 channel 1, 1.2, channel 40, a 1.1, there we go, I'm happy with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and support the channel. And uh, hit that like button. Share a video with your friends. And uh, bump, bump, click, click. Ain't no mud ducking, duck shucking doubt about it. 138 overkill, gone.